boys and girls i hope you are having a wonderful time at home with your family today's bible story is going to be about noah during the time that noah lived the people of the earth were doing very bad things and this was making god very sad let's look at some pictures can you see these people are trying to beat up this poor man So because God was very sad with what was happening he wanted to destroy the earth with a great big flood but Noah was an obedient man he listened to what God told him and he was a good man so God spoke to Noah one day this is Noah and his family God spoke to Noah and said I'm going to bring a flood to destroy the earth because the people have done such a lot of bad things that i am sad but i'm going to save you and your family because you've been good and obedient to me so god told noah to build an ark what is an ark it's a very very big boat so noah started building the ark just like god told him to he obeyed god After many years Noah had finally finished building the ark. After that God told Noah that he had to get two of every kind of animal male and female and put them in the boat with Noah and his family as well. That means from the great big elephant to the tiger and the bears to the birds, the small spiders, the bees, the butterflies the monkeys and the cats and the dogs all these animals were supposed to go into the ark with noah two by two male and female here we see a picture of all the animals making their way into the ark once the ark was full of animals noah's family looked after them each animal had its own place in the ark Once all the animals were inside and Noah and his family went inside God closed the doors of the ark and it started to rain See Noah and his family are all safely inside with the rest of the animals and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights Noah and his family and all the other animals who were inside were safe but all the wicked people of the world were destroyed in the flood can you see how it has rained look at the lightning and there we see noah's ark in the flood and everyone in the ark safely inside now after it rained for 40 days and for 40 nights the sun came out at last and Noah went outside but he still saw that there was water all around him so what did he do he waited a while and he sent out a dove the dove went out and when the dove returned back to Noah he had an olive branch in his mouth in his beak so then Noah knew that the water had gone down enough for the trees to be seen again so noah waited a few more days and he opened the doors of the ark and he let all the animals out and noah and his family made a sacrifice to god to thank god for keeping them safe and god did something special too in the sky god put a rainbow this is a promise to us that god made The promise is that God would never destroy the earth with a flood again. Now we know that Noah got saved because he obeyed God because he did exactly what God wanted him to do. He built the ark like God told him to which helped save his family and all the other animals. Are you obedient to your parents while you're at home these days? Do you listen to your mother? when she says to put away your toys do you listen to your father when he says it's time for you to do a bit of school work i hope you do let's all be obedient to our parents and our elders 
like Noah was obedient to God. And to remember our story today, we can do a small handwork. I made a small mask, an animal mask, to remind me that the animals went into the ark two by two. I made a butterfly mask and I made it colourful with the colours of the rainbow. You can ask your parents to help you make a mask as well. It can be a mask of one of your favourite animals. And we can end today's lesson with a small prayer. Shall we all say a prayer? You can join me and repeat the prayer after me. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you for this beautiful day. Help me to be obedient to my family and elders like Noah was obedient to you. I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care and God bless till I see you next week.